Hi everyone, welcome to Cat Gadgets. Now we are going to draw mechanical design. This is the model we now we are going to draw. Go to mechanical part design and click OK. I choose Y Z plane and going to sketch. And I selecting the circle and going to draw two circles. And I am going to consider it now. One is 30 mm dimension, and another one is 50 mm. We can see it here. After that, I am going to pad it 150 mm. So I am going to exit the workbench and I am going to open pad definition. I select metal stand. If I give 75 mm, it is equal to 150 mm on both sides. You can ensure by clicking the measure tool by setting both faces. Here you can see it. After that, I am going to draw this neck part, which is 20 mm. From the either side, so I'm going to design. I'm going to offset the plane. The plane definition: so 75 minus 20 mm. It is 55 mm. Here you can see it. It is offset. Click OK. I'm going to select the plane and going to sketch. Now I'm going to open. It. Elongated hole. This sketch is useful for this drawing. I'm giving the dimension 25 mm. As the outer circle radius is 50, uh, 50 mm dia, so I'm giving a radius 25 mm for this elongated hole. And the other radius is 8 mm. The length is 100 mm, which is shown in the drafting design. Here you can see that 100 mm. I am going to just remit this circle. Or either you can choose a tool to, to finish it easily. Now I'm going to select 3D projection so that circle will be get projected. Here you can see it. Now I'm going to choose this line and the circle and going to constant definition tangency and click OK. And do it for that circle, that line also. Now I'm going to draw another elongated hole. Here you can see it, which is 50 mm and radius is 3.5 mm. I'm going to radius. This 3.5 is the radius. giving 3.5 radius and I am going to give that also 3.5 mm and then the length is 50 mm now 
the design is over i going to pad that to a opposite side for that i going to give reverse direction here you can see 10 mm pad length i am giving a 10 mm here you can see it it get finished i am going to mirror it for the other side it is a easy method either for drawing on again you can see here it get finished after that now we going to draw that center hole which is 35 mm from the center plane i am going to offset the plane to 35 mm click view and work game okay. i'm choosing that plane and going to sketch outer circle is 20 mm and inner circle is 10 mm now i'm going to draw the both circles and i choose the constraint and giving the dimension diameter is 20 mm outer circle and inner mm 10 mm I am going to exit the work bench. I am going to pad definition. Then I am going to select the surface. Pad it pad over that surface. Select up to surface and click OK. You can see it get padded. After that, we are going to draw this portion. which is 100 mm from pad length so i going to select that plane and going to offset to 100 mm 100 mm and giving reverse direction it's correct you click okay i am going to sketch and i am going to design here Now here you can see 50 mm the outer circle dia, and inner is 30 mm. Here you can see. Going to give outer circle as 50 mm dia, and inner circle as 30 mm. I know I'm going to pad it 100 mm over that surface. I'm going to select the pad definition. I'm going to pad definition and I'm going to pad it up to surface. Okay, click OK. Almost it over. We're going to design this one D. Um. Here, 25 mm the rectangle and the one. I'm going to sketch and select that plane. That is the plane, and I'm going to select the center rectangle. The axis line. I'm going to draw a center rectangle. We're going to consider the both lines. Click OK, and um, the dimension is 25 mm. I give one horizontal. Okay. Now I'm going to draw an arc. By three point arc. I'm going to select the three point arc and I'm going to draw three point arc, which is twelve point five mm radius.
I'm going to give 12.5 mm radius for 25 mm hole length. And the distance is vertical distance is 22.5. I'm going to consign it now. Vertical distance 22.5. Going to draw a center circle. Which is of 18 mm diameter. And now the design is over. Exit to our bench. Now I am going to pad definition again. Go to more. And select this time is to up to surface. Now I'm going to pad it as the circle is 25 mm radius. I'm going to give is 35 mm, which is the design is 10 mm pad length length. So I give one 35 mm. Now I'm going to mirror it. Here the design is over. Now I'm going to fill out the edges. For the text rating all edges. After selecting, click OK. To change the uh, flip, no, you can go from the branch and you can select and give 2mm and click OK. So you can see that edge fillet has done. And this is the design given by the drafting is done. Thank you.